Hello, everybody. Be Vicious here. It is September 23rd, 2015, and this is a video that should have been released a little while ago, but what are you going to do? So let us talk about the new Iron Maiden album, Book of Souls. So it has been a, quite, a, a, quite a few years since their last re release, uh, The Final Frontier. I uh, forget which year exactly that came. It was like 2010-ish, 2009, somewhere around there. Um, I wasn't too huge on that album, uh, but this is a double release, double album that they've put out, uh, 11 songs. So it's uh, while the song count is normal, the, the length is pretty solid, about 90 minutes or so. So uh, let's talk about it. I, obviously, I don't really need to diverge into where I found Iron Maiden and, you know, whatever that, you know, they are Iron Maiden. I'm going, you know, anybody that listens to metal will hear Iron Maiden at some point and should or most likely will like them in some way. So uh, this is an album that I got to tell you is it sounds like Iron Maiden, it, it, you know, and that's not a bad thing by any means. It's. It's an Iron Maiden album. It's a very good Iron Maiden album because Iron Maiden albums are good, and this one's a good album. So, um, it just it starts off solid. It you know, and just and it just keeps the pace throughout the entire song. You know, it keeps it stays strong throughout the entire album. Double album means that you know, realistically, it was just. It, I have no. I don't have any really that many bad things to say about this album. You know, I mean, there, anything that I say good is just yeah, we know. We know, you know, Bruce Dickinson, you know, good job. Uh, the one thing that I will say about Bruce Dickinson is I think, you know, with whether or not they go and record an, an, another album after this one is, you know, we'll see. But uh, I think after this album, it's time for Bruce to uh, try and stop hitting the high notes because, you know, while he can hit them, it's one of the scenarios, you know, it, to, to no fault of his own, you know, the tongue cancer and the fact that he is getting up there in age, you know, it's just you can tell that he's starting to really – you know, push those notes out. It's not really coming out as, you know, just easy as it used to. You can hear a bit of force in his voice, and it's it's kind of off-putting at times. Uh, it's just a, you know, it's not, like I said, it's nothing big. It's just something that you notice and can, and can at times be a little like, mm, you know, so I think next album, if they do do another album, he's got a, they're going to, we're going to hear a little bit of a different Iron Maiden because I feel like it's time that he, uh, maybe, you know, certain notes go down an octave or just try and not, you know, try not to hit those notes or, you know, see if the guitars, uh, maybe try tuning the guitars down a half a step or half a step or a whole step. That'll make, uh, you know, the songs sound new, different, interesting, you know, they can play with different tunings and whatnot or uh, different, uh, different keys of the songs. And you, and that could also help, you know, keep Bruce's voice, you know, from trying, you know, put in from straining it. So, um, but this is, you know, the guitar work was, was great. It's, you know, Iron Maiden. I do feel like some of the guitar solos could have been better. I feel that, uh, that, you know, there were some good ones, but the, there weren't any that really stuck out to me. There wasn't any that really, I was like, wow, good. You know, this was nice. You know, they were all just kind of, you know, the solos, they worked. It was just it, nothing that, you know, Nothing really that impressed me or just didn't have quite the the flow or that I was hoping for from an, from the Iron Maiden guitar solos. Uh, the drums really shined on this album. I really enjoyed uh, some of the rhythmic uh, portions in there and how he changed things up. And, you know, just just fantastic drumming. That's always fantastic, fantastic bass. It's always from Iron Maiden. Um you know, th there were just some, there were just some songs uh, on there. You know, I really enjoyed their tribute to Robin Williams with Tears of a Clown. Um, I really, you know, they're just, they, 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 sh they continue to show that they have such great, right, great ability of writing different things and, you know, having varying sounds and whatnot. You know, the, the intro to the red and the black is always it's just so interesting to me. Um, but uh, let, let's talk about Empire of the Clouds for a second. This 18-minute song that the the intro is just oh, I, I get I get goosebumps even just thinking about it. It's just it, this is such a damn good song and uh, a very long intro and uh, Bruce Dickinson. Real, this was the song that Bruce just shined on in my opinion, and the, the instrumental part in the middle was great and just it, you get an entire embodiment of how he you know. How he 
ideals in that environment of the, you know, in the clouds, up in the skies, flying a plane. You know, it was such an interesting piece. And just, you know, the 18 minutes just flies by. Like, before you know it, you're like, wow, that was 18 minutes. That was, that was a whole almost third of an hour that just went by. And that song was just, you know, it just, you know, you get you get those memories of Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. And, and they're longer songs. And it's just, you know, this was a, this is a new song that it, it really hits home. It was just you know, this is another, this is a song that will be a, I'm not going to say classic, but it's, it's something, it's a song that will be remembered. And that that's something that Iron Maiden definitely achieved with this song. I mean, it could be a classic, but uh, this is, it's good to see that Iron Maiden still has it. And they definitely uh, showed great, you know, they continued to show great diversity in their songwriting and they continue to just do, you know, what Iron Maiden does. And, you know, it, it sounds like, what they needed to do was sound like Iron Maiden. Uh, but next album, I do think, you know, with, like I said, with Bruce's voice, I think next album may need to not quite sound like Iron Maiden to accompany for the fact that he is pushing out those notes. So I'm going to give this album a solid 9 out of 10. It was, I enjoyed it from front to back, side to side, the works. It was just, you know, th there really isn't much bad to take away from this album in my opinion and will definitely have some spot in the top 10 albums of 2015 so what's your opinion of book of souls what's your opinion of my review did you like book of souls where do you think it ranks upon the uh classic albums of iron maiden uh and which just general opinion in general i guess <laughs> So uh, please subscribe, please comment. I'd like to have a discussion with you on the content talked about in this video. And with that being said, have a great day, guys.